Okay, so we're here with three members of the uh, Queen's Cha Champion Cycling Team. Uh, why don't you guys tell us who you are? Hi, hi my name is Hank Jen, and I'm a fifth year mining engineering student. Um, I'm Jessica Matuzel, and I'm a third year environmental science student. And I'm uh, Etienne Moreau, and I'm a third year mechanical engineering student. Okay, so Jen, we'll start with you. Why don't you tell us how, you're, how the uh, mountain bike series works? and. Well, the mountain bike, it's pretty simple. It's, uh, it's four races uh, in the fall every year. And uh, we don't have a UOUA championship, unfortunately, in Ontario, but uh, we have the uh, University Cup, it's called. And um, yeah, we have four races, one in Mansfield, one in uh, Ganaraska, one in Hardwood Hills, and then one in Boulder Mountain. Um, the goal really is uh, to win the championship. Uh, the goal is to score as many points as possible versus the other school. And to do that, we got to place as the, we got to place as, as best as we can in the, in the um, in four categories: the men's A, men's B, women A, and women B. Um, and uh, the three best finisher of every school count towards the uh, final classification. And so, what's the difference between A and B? So, A riders are the ones that are competing at the Ontario level, uh, Ontario Cups, Canada Cups, even World Cups for some of them. Uh, B riders are for the people like, uh, well, Hank and, uh, and Jess uh, did really well in their B, respective B categories. Um, it's for the racers that never actually raced at the top level, uh, you know, at a out of university race before. Um, yeah. Okay, and you were in the A category? Yeah, I was and in the men's A category uh, for the third year, yeah. And how'd you do in that series? Sure. It, was, it was great. I had one very tough uh, competitor that uh, raced Canada Cups uh, were like me. And uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't defeat him. But every race, I was, uh, I was getting closer and closer. But, uh, but he was, uh, I came second on every single race, uh, <laughs> right in, uh, right behind him. And how long have you been involved in, uh, in mountain biking? Mountain biking, it's, uh, I'm going to my 12 seasons <laughs> right, right now. So I've been doing this since I'm eight years old. Cool. Hey, Jessica, we'll talk to you. So you're in the uh, B division. Yeah. Uh, so talking how about uh, how your series went and how your your races went. It was really good. It was more kind of like a fun kind of every weekend we'd go out and just have fun. And for me, I'd never really raced mountain biking before. So it was definitely a good kind of introduction to mountain bike racing and uh, just a fun team environment too. Everyone's kind of supporting everyone in all of their races. Everyone wants everyone to do well. So it's really and so what made you uh, decide to take up mountain biking? Um, well, I've always kind of biked quite a bit. Um, and a bunch of the people on the cross country ski team are also on the mountain bike team. So they kind of convinced me <laughs> to try it out. So. And so was this your first year, first year at it? Yeah, this is my first year, first season of mountain bike racing. Excellent. And Hank, we'll start. Uh, what? Uh, this is your first year as well. Uh, no, this is not my first okay. first year. So this is actually the uh, third season I've been racing with Queens. I did a bit of racing in high school, and then towards the end, you know, grade 12, did a few more racing in, in BC. But then came out here, did racing in first year, took a few years off, and then came back last year and raced again this year. Um, so what made you uh, come back to it? Um, I just took a few years off, and I really enjoyed mountain biking, and I just I just love being with the team, traveling, going away on weekends. You know, the five-hour you know drives we go out are just absolutely amazing. We joke around in the van and. Uh, <laughs> You know, we have a lot of fun, and I really enjoy it. Um, so, Jen, you probably your best answer. What uh, what is it that makes uh, makes a team do well um, in in the point standings? Is it, uh... Well, um, the, fir the first thing, and that not all teams actually achieve, is that we can we need three riders in every single category, and that's especially tough, unfortunately, with mountain biking because it's a really guy-oriented sport, unfortunately. Uh, so as soon as we have you know three riders, three girls, and woman A, woman B, that's a really good start. But then after that, of course, you got to beat every single other school. Um, Toronto and Guelph are usually our toughest competitors. Toronto, especially this year, and uh, but we still had better riders in men's A and men's B, and uh, had um, you know at least as many women and woman and woman B, and you know still with performance like Jess's or Tori's and uh, Hanks and Brad's and. Mine <laughs> and uh, and um, and the uh, James Clark as well. Uh, we uh, we bring the the, co the cup home for the third time in a row. So how exciting was it that the uh, at the final banquet to get the uh, to get the cup again? 
oh, so sweet. It's, uh, it's, I mean, we were kind of expecting it since the you know, second, third race, but it was still an amazing, uh, it's, it's, it's like the first time. It's, uh, it's a great experience. That's kind of how it was. Well, your first exactly time what he said, but he kind of summed it up. It was very inspirational too, to kind of maintain that next year as well. Yeah, and we were all very excited. You know, we lined up in the parking lot, took a nice team photo. You know, everybody was cheering each other on. And one thing I like to say about mountain biking is there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just your you know physical capability. Your bike can go wrong, you know, during a race or even before a race. So what we do is we try to help each other out. We make sure the bikes are well maintained. We get everything, make sure the chains do, all the bolts are tight, and make sure things go smoothly. And during the race, we work as a team, help each other, feed each other water bottles. Um, carry each other's uh, you know jackets when we take them off for warm up. So I think it's a you know big team effort to work together and you know bring home the UCOM. Okay, so now with this season finished, what's uh, what's next for you guys? Well, uh, the bike team has a, well technically only has one season, <laughs> but we actually have two seasons. The, se the second season is uh, during the spring in March. We usually go to do the ECCC, the Eastern Cycling Conference in uh, the uh, U.S. So road racing. Um, and we race against all the big schools, all the big IV schools out there. And uh, yeah, some of the mountain bikers will go as well. We'll train all over the winter to be in top shape in March. And uh, well, on top of that, we have um, road bikers that uh, that come out uh, uh, and race. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. Great, thank you.